Y'all want to know what that is? That's called a fez or a tarbush. You might see um, different Europeans wearing it, but actually it belongs to the Moors, the i.e. the various copper tone people on the American continent, which are the true Americans. I've noticed that only me, that I know of, only me and another European has actually went the de jure way and got permission from the Aboriginal Indigenous people of the landmass, actually got permission from them to be here. The rest of the Europeans that are conducting themselves with um, U.S. citizenship and the ones that are minority minded thinking that this is the United States this is the reason why you are being taxed this is the reason why you're being arrested pulled over for not wearing seat belts because you are obligated to statutory codes am I? no will they arrest me for it? yes will they get violated? And will they be standing in front of the international court of justice and international criminal courts? Before they die, yes. Will the Moors, i.e. indigenous aboriginal people of the landmass of, Amer of the American continent, will they be standing in front of the, um, the international courts? Yes. So, what's your nationality? What's your citizenship? We, you wasn't taught this in, in the institutions of what you call school. So you got a U.S. citizenship. What is a U.S. citizenship? Well, you, United States, or U.S. is a corporation. And the only reason why you're on this land is because they're colonizing. That means that Christopher Columbus landed, or he didn't land, he rode over here with some moors because he didn't know how to navigate through the water. So he navigated over here. Then, brought more and more Europeans, they started killing off the, the Native Americans, which you think are light-skinned people with feathers, which is not true. A true American is the various copper-toned peoples on the American continent, i.e. the Moors, the descendants of Moroccans born in America, our Moroccan Americans. Get them, to, get them to synonymous in your mind and get them together, our Moroccan Americans. 